mae bala sin posh more you in a different way deeper deeper so it's called start and try yes you still long to be like him to go deeper so persecution may arise so trials may fall to hinder you from going deeper it's called start and try yes i will go deeper yet see Deepa, deepa. Bless the Holy Spirit. Take me deeper, see. In my own life, there's nothing, Jesus. None of them, all of thee. None of them, all of thee. That's what God has given us to do for these three days. Let me cross out and try out. Father, let me go. Who take in the, in the only love of Jesus? Let me fully grow. Fruitful grow. Will you beg God tonight? As I found for this meeting in the potter's house. Some people are supposed to be here now, they are not here yet. But if you have availed yourself, because of love you have for Christ, God will ask the Lord, I want to go deeper. Take me deeper. Deeper in your love. Deeper in your knowledge. Men and women have been made in this assembly. Men who are ruling the world. Men and women who suffer dread. But it is in this assembly they were made. If only you can let go self. So that Savior will step in for these three days. So things that be struggling me. God is the one I can let go. Partial obedience. Partial salvation. Partial condition. Pastor Christian living, selective and deduction, subjecting the word of God to human opinion. In the potter's house, mold me, shape me. Shake out of me those branches that are not contributing, that are not edifying the body. These few days, they destroy the temple. After three days, I will build it out. They never understood that I was talking about this restoration, that I may know him. And the power of resurrection for these three days. Say goodbye, world. Can no longer stay with you. The pleasure of sin, the attraction of the world. The world is already ruling many people out of the, of the way. Will you go away? 
What about the condition of yesterday? Where are they? How do you ask the Lord? That in this three days meeting, you will encounter Jesus in a new dimension. He said the same yesterday, today and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, you bid us to come. And we have come with all our inadequacies. We understand that the battle is set away already. And we who we win must not fight with the flesh, but we fight against the flesh to conquer. That's what you have come to impart into us. Mighty Father, as you have availed us in the potter's house, we pray for these three days your word will know our lives. And you make our life better in Jesus' name. No sadness of heart. No self will The Lord will allow, will penetrate. So don't speak any of our lives and give us all time conviction that kept the sense of old until they conquer in their own era. That in this 21st century, we will conquer. Father, more than what man can say, this day has to start with all. Divine revelation that makes a difference. I'm here as a, as, you know, as an instrument. But God, your word, Lord Almighty, this evening, you will minister life and life of your children in Jesus' name. Both the speaker and the listener. Your word will do us good. Say at the end of this message, we will have walked upon our lives. And we see ourselves being refined. Thank you, Father. To commence the message now, I pray you will begin with us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's have our seat. I welcome every one of us to the end of Ramadan semester workers retreat officially in Jesus' name. I believe we are here for a purpose. Because a life without purpose is not worth living. Some of us, we finish our exam. But two days, three days ago, and we are still here. Some of our colleagues, they are back at home now. And if God has availed us the grace, and this type of opportunity, that you discard every other thing, you set aside every other thing to be available in the presence of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us as we allow a hundred percent attention to be here. Take away every form of distraction and be concentrated because God will do us good. I say God will do us good. Our program sheet is a bit delayed due 
to some logistics. I'm believing God that before we are through tonight, the program sheet will be available. And the theme of our workers retreat this time around, at the time the program sheet comes, you will see it in your, in your hand, is conviction. What do I say? What do I say? Conviction. Say it with, I know, persuasively. And the Greek word for that is exele. Exeleco, exeleco, conviction. And as we are here together, so time in the presence of the Lord, we want to look alive in the series. That is the theme. Life in the series. The caption is exeleco. But we are looking at the theme. The Christian life begins in the series. It also continues in the spirit. Or let me put it better, put it this way. It's supposed this to continue in the spirit. And eventually consummate in the spirit. The consummation is not yet. Either by rapture or by death at the old age. According to the promise of God, to be the pattern of life a Christian is expected to live, life in the spirit. And as we spend these three days concentrating, focusing our attention on how can we live a life in the spirit, in these adulterous, in these corrupted. In this changing world, I believe the conviction that sustains the patriarchs of old, the Holy Spirit will be ministering to us. And I'm believing God that God will walk upon our heart and walk upon our life. We permit the Spirit of God to walk. And the essence of this program, at the end of this meeting, you will look back and God will have accomplished something great, something wonderful, something indelible that you will never leave to recover from in your life in Jesus' name. Tonight, the subject, first subject of our consideration is Christian life in a changing world. Christian life in a changing world. But I can put it, Christian living in a changing world. Or I can equally put it, unchanging Christ in a changing world. I'm still speaking the same thing. Because there is a con divine connection between a Christian and Christ. Christ falls before the Christian. It is our identification with Christ. That actually give birth to the word Christian. And that is why Christ remains unchanged. He's a word personified. He lived before the world was created. And he came in the flesh during the snow after the creation of the world. So he lived on the surface of the earth for just a time being. 33 years of remarkable accomplishment. That I told you and I, the opportunity we have today, and he went back to the glory. And that's when he went back, he gave us this assurance that in the world, we have challenges. In the world, as men that we come after him, they will have some difficulties. They will face some ridicule. They will have some persecution. They will have some trial. But Christ said, through all these, be of good cheer. For I have done what? I have overcome the world. And that is why, for any Christian, any believer, in this end time, 
to continue to start where and end where Christ should be the object of our focus in our walking, in our ways, in our worthiness, in our ways, in our ways, the weight of our ways, the weight of our values. In all we do, we should be like Christ. Because he's the only one that remains immortal. He's the only one that remains unchanged. Because he's the one pacified. And every other thing on this earth, the psychologist will tell us that every other thing change, changes, except the word change. But I want to tell you, if that is actually true, then Christ is the one that bears that word change itself. If that connotation, if that stage is true, then I want to tell you that Christ is the word change. He's the unchangeable changer. He came, he has a purpose. And his purpose driven life. Made him to summon the monster of this world, the monster to persecution, monster to trial, temptation, evil. There is no temptation we are facing today. There is no trial that we are facing today. There is no challenge that we are facing today that Christ has not changed in his own generation. Bible says he was tempted in all ways, yet without sin. He's unchanging. He's not compromising in time. He's the central focus of the of Christian time. He's fighting in our race if he must win. We should understand as Christian force before we become Christian workers and leaders. The life worth living is a life that looks like that of Christ. Because the word Christian means little Christ. Turn your Bible with me. So book of Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13. What a look at the life of Christ that is was unchanging. That is unchanging. From age to age, he remained unchanged. Hebrew 13. I read in verse 8. Bible says, Hebrew chapter 13. I read from verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and for what? And forever. Is immortal. Is eternal. So he came in the form of man, in the flesh, yet he is God himself. He was made way so that you and I can choose to develop, to grow, to sustain, and to maintain in this evil and adulterous generation. When men change standards, where denomination varies in administration. Where people who started well, some who started well, along the way, meander and deviate. But Jesus Christ remained unchanged. And that is why any life worth living is a Christian life. And what is this Christian life all about? Jesus Christ, being the central focus and message of the Bible, came to this world, live and learn for his every kingdom. But he was full of life and love. He had focus. He had love. He loved men. But he hates their sin. He loves the world. But he hates the seeds in the world. 
And that is why he showed all that come across his way to dissuade him, to take him off point, not to fulfill the purpose of his existence on earth. He showed them. No wonder he was able to conquer and give the whole world victory over sin. How did, did he accomplish this? He understood that he had permission. He knew that he had into a reservation to accomplish. And that is why he had the courage and conviction to stand when Satan was buffeting, trying to dissuade him, gave him all the kingdom of this world so that he can lose the essence for his living. I'm driving, I'm going somewhere. It also implies that for someone to have said, he, he, he or she is a Christian, regardless of age the person exists, that would have been after Christ, or Tony White Christ was alive. Regardless of whichever age is, courage and conviction is a useful, vital, and by other instruments in the hands of such people that run the race or run the race at present and will conquer all those who have conquered in the past. Christ is the message. Now the question comes, what is the connection between the contemporary Christians and Christ's likeness? Because I told us that Christ Christian means little Christ. People who live their life like Christ. What is the connection? The answer is found in the book of Acts of Apostles. Acts chapter 11. Let's turn our Bible. Acts chapter 11. In book of Acts chapter 11. Whatever you are facing today, Whatever I did, the challenges, either in the flesh, or in the spirit, or in the soul, or in, 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 in the form of finances, or material, or academic challenges, Christ says all those challenges, yet without sin. And that is why we are lead to Christ. Acts chapter 11, I read from verse 19. Now, they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Venice and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the world to none but unto the Jews only. Because of our time, I read from verse 23. The who when he came, had seen the grace of God, the person of Stephen, was glad and exalted them, them all, and with purpose of heart. Stephen had purpose of heart that would cleave unto the Lord, for he was a good man. Tell me a Christian, show me a Christian. He or she must be a good man and put up the Holy Ghost and obey and most people was added unto the Lord. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for he seed Saul to see Saul and when he had found him he brought him unto Antioch. And it came so far that a whole year they, they assembled themselves with the church and taught most people and the disciples were called Christians first, as well in Antioch. The disciples were called Paul, Christians in, in Antioch. The relationship between Christians and cry, and, and cry. The relationship between believers and Jesus 
the relationship between sinner or say and savior. If the fathers, they say they were living the life that Savior lived. Savior had a mission. The saints should also have mission in the world. Being Christian, being Christian leader, being Christian worker, regardless of our background, be in, in a Christian dome. Whether from Anglican, from Baptist, from CAC, from any denomination, from Deeper Life, Bible Church, or GLCA, anywhere, Christians associate with Christ by Christ's life, conduct, and character. Show me a man that prepares the heart Christ. I will tell you a man that lives like Christ is. What type of Christ Christ lives? Christ lives a purpose life on earth. And that we can see in his ability to resist temptation that comes from the devil. Took him from one point to the other. Telling him to deny the purpose of his existence. Telling him to fulfill the purpose of God sent him. But Christ, at one point in time or the other, he understood his mission. And he stood by him, and he told Satan, Get the enemy. Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of, the, of, of, of God. They cast themselves down, he the son of man. And he understood the scripture, that, 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 that we should not tell our God. He understood the scripture and those that we stand and we defend the say of the Father, the say of the Lord. In this end time, they must every be, regardless of your position, regardless of our title, regardless of whom we are in the kingdom, this age will not come. Yes, the same in the kingdom will not come. But what we can is that we are living our life. One day at a time, like Christ leaves his own. As we have understood, the servant is not greater than the master. Christ leaves, he conquers. We will conquer. I say we conquer. You see, the battle is set away. If you are living in this world, if you must make remark, it must be relevant in this 21st century. Life of Christ should be something that we hold on to without any compromise. For you to have, and for us to have that life, we see from the passage of prayer that it is clear that Christ's life is a Christian life, is a Christ like living, a life of absolute surrenderedness. We saw that Jesus Christ, He surrendered Himself to the will of the Father. And if we also, in this end time, we stand as Christian workers, we stand as Christian leaders, we stand as Christian a campus community like this, that right in your own day, some people will be performing some art, room for you, that are capable of enjoying your flesh. Then what should be your son? What should be our son? Even though, Jacob said, do he slay me? No matter what's happening around us, it's not enough as you to compromise as an absolute surrender to the perfect will of the Father. A life of uncompromising in humility. He was God in faith, but he made himself of no reputation. Regardless of his of, of the status as Christian, as Christian workers, as believer, regardless of our background, wherever we come from, whatever our title in the world, in terms of where, in terms of material needs, in terms of whatever our position, our, our, our better thing, even in the academic circle, how, no matter how we are performing, we need to remain uncompromising in humility, lifestyle of Christ. Not only that, a life of undaunted conviction. That was what I see. Undaunted from your dogged and determined. 
The demons of God is marching around us. Can't leave the lie. Satan will beg him. Enemy came. They want to arrest him. They did a lot of things to dissuade him, to take him up on. But Jesus understood his mission and he remained judged on his God given heavenly father given conviction. Not only that, Christ was separated from China. We can not otherwise do if actually the life they are living we command Christ likeness, then we have to live a life separated from the world. Not isolated. Not out out. Not eccentric life. Not solid and dull attitude. Because I belong to a particular fellowship. I'm better than those that are outside. No. That's not a message. And his message and his purpose was to pass the message that comes to the world in love, in charity, in his purity. He did everything possible to persuade men to him, yet without sin. He wants to talk about anybody who is close to any category of individual. We can point that individual to Christ. What do we see today? We run away from challenge. And, and we try to, pro, no, to, to protect our image or protect ourselves. So the people outside there are see they are worse than we do. It is by day. And that is why a life of God is a life comes to separation. Separation from the world. Separation from the world's lifestyle. Not comparing one, not where you are with what whoever is outside here. Because you are not there, because you are understood, the reason why you are not there. So that lie and what you are consuming within, it as much as the word of God that will take you to eternal life. You remain saying, Christ was saying. Yes, friend. A life of servitude and a life of service. He took a form of servant. Christian also today, if we must need, if our life must command the purpose of existing as Christian, people who are like Christ, if there is any connection between us and Christ, then our life will provoke people of the world to the teeth of Jesus. In our room, in our hotel, Back to at home, in our town, in our village, where we visit uncle, where we visit auntie, where we visit whoever, we remain on Christ-like con- uh, condition without compromise. That's what Christ came to achieve. Not only that, we can see lastly, a courageous life of obedience, regardless of worldly threatening. He was threatened by the war. By Pilate, to disown, to do away, by all these state soldiers, the soldiers, they came, they arrested him, they did a lot of things to him, yet Christ remains unchanged. For what I'm telling us, let's pause a minute. It should be not realistic for just every Christian, not just everybody. Those who assume knowledge of salvation, it will not be possible for them to leave it. Those who assume knowledge of sanctification, it will not be possible for them to leave that life. Those who assume other Christian experiences, it will not be possible for them to leave it. Because we only have the definition, the theoretical definition of that life in the air. It has not been transferred, transferred to the heart. It is when it is in the heart. That's why. Right. That's when ability to live it out will be given to us. And that is what God wants to do in our lives. But we find it difficult to control us. I am a Christian. Yes, I can afford to still live in little disobedience. I am a Christian. Yes, I can afford to still be living in secret and presumptuous things. 
I'm a Christian. How does a, a Christian worker? Yes, his prophetical life has not left us. The life we live on campus is different from the one we live in the village. The one we live in the village is different from the one we live in the town. The one we live in the town is different from the one we live in the city. As we are changing the environment, our color is also changing with the environment. Then you have not adapted the world to yourself. Rather, you are adapting yourself to the world. And it is that type of system that changes weather. That cannot weather the storm. No conviction can weather the storm. Of corruption that has given us a ban in the world. It will be difficult for you to go with the Lord. I pray. As you allow God, whatever head knowledge you have before now, that you begin to beg God to transfer those head knowledge. Have knowledge and whatever knowledge to the heart. And we beg God to walk upon those hearts, our hearts, for these three days. That wherever we go, that we stand like Daniel in Babylon. That we stand like Joseph in Portugal's house. That we stand like Esther. When the threat of not of, of, was for uh, Mema was coming, she knew the right person to con- consult. It is God. So, so stand. Because this generation we are, I want to tell us, which I believe you know, the closer the coming of Christ, the more the temptation. You cannot ask, we cannot escape it. He told us that knowledge shall be increased. The attention to the first century believers are exposed for today. To the first century leaders are exposed for today. To the first century Christians are exposed for today. That Father Abraham never exposed to those temptations. Because they were generation bound. Those temptations are generation was bound. All this type of either weak, wicked dresses or wicked dresses that we see today in the campus environment, in the first place, in the period of our father Abraham, was there any campus? Do you read any place in the Bible that there was university? University of there? And that is why, if you have to be fighting the battle of Christian condition with that type of memory, and you will not. Leave the doctrine of Christ behind and let us together move on to perfection. In this end time, you cannot win in the Christian way. It is not possible. They are fighting with, with, with the weapon of 18th century, of 11th of century, of 17th century. It will be difficult for you to win. And the earlier time, we recognize the appropriate weapon. The better it is for us to win the battle. And we win the battle. I said we win the battle. I said we win the battle. I'm not happy with that one. I said I will win the battle. Save yourself, I will win the battle. And God will give you that address and power and ability to win that battle in Jesus' name. Shortly, we are considering. Three points. Point one. Christ. The word of life in a changing world. Christ. Put full colon. The word of Christ in a changing world. Point number two. Caution. Put colon. The warning for the Christian pilgrimage. Caution. Put it full column. The warning for the Christian pilgrimage. Point number three. Courage. Full column. The winning weapon in a changing world. And we win the Lord. I said we win the battle. I said we win the battle. I'm back in point number one. Christ. The way 
of life in a changing world. John chapter 1. In book of John chapter 1. John chapter 1. John chapter 1. In John chapter 1. Put your Bible with me. The book of John chapter 1. As we read together. In verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was who? Was God. This same Word was in the beginning with who? With God. Christ. The Word of life in a changing world. Let any man, let any woman neglect that word. He becomes dead. Though he or she may live physically, any negligence or any attempt to undermine the existence of that world automatically render that individual dead. The person becomes a walking curse because he is far, he or she is far from the place of grace. And where there is no grace, where there is no graceful living, it will be difficult for that individual to win in the battle of life. We talk about conviction. The word Christian can spell it alphabetical, uh, uh, in a vertical order. I say, for Christian life, we have particular attributes to decode them. The word C there, the, the letter C there, represents character of Christ. For every Christian, what are the characters of Christ? The life of wisdom. No man has said him, no man has ever said like this. Come and see. Character before, characters of Christ. Christian must have Christ like character by implication. The age there, humility before honor. In the Christian, Christian dome, as Christian workers, as Christian leaders, as believers of the 21st century, regardless of how sophisticated gospel has become today, humility of Christ cannot be overruled. Next to that is the word R. We see righteousness above all things. The disciples came to him. He delegated them. They said, Demon, bow in, in, in your name to us. We cast them out. We hear that it. Jesus Christ responded. Don't exalt your miracles. Don't exalt your thing you see. Those manifestation. But what should you exalt? Exalt that your name is written in the book of life. And that is why. Without righteousness. Without repentance. No matter the activity. No matter the level of commitment. No matter the level of, of consecration. Sleeping in the thought. Become a thought whatever. We never do in the life of eternity. Heaven we have no recognition. And that is why a period like this is a period of personal examination. Bible says, examine yourself. Know ye not yourself? Except you can reprobate how that Christ dwelleth in you. How he lives in you. How you walk with you. How you walk with him. How you talk with him. How you respond to you. Righteousness. Above all things. Above activity. Above church attendance. Above title. Above denomination. Above name. You can be Jeremiah. 
and are living in the, in the Maya. That are becoming a living in the Maya. It cannot be. The life that comes is the life of Christ. That wherever you find yourself, you remain on what brought you to the soul. Righteousness. You see next to that, letter I, integrity without iniquity. Take the portrait out. Some portrait out. In L.I. House, open and senior, they were dwelling in the same palace. They lived together with the same family. But Bible had this singular commendation that the church family grew up in the knowledge of the Lord as he was in favor with God and before men. In that palace, they are openly and seniors. They are committing immorality. Some dare to stand and is still alone. If you will make mad, become relevant and achieve anything worthwhile beyond just being carrying the Christian title and name, then you must be a lily in the mire of this world. My pseudo Christianity is a Maya of hypocrisy without righteousness. Integrity, the one that preserved Joseph. The one that preserved the few Berekabites. Integrity without iniquity. Next to that, truthfulness in temperance. You are truthful. It says a man that strives for the mercy is temperate in all. You are striving for the mercy. You are truthful. Your name is there. Your share is there. Because of, it. of what is happening in our environment. The more I told you, the closer the coming of Christ, the more difficult it will be, it will be to live for Christ. Knowledge shall be increased. The love of many shall work good, not the love of all. That means individual workers, individual leaders have a choice to make. It's a TYC. Take your choice. Can I say the same situation? You overcame. I pray we will overcome. Next to that, is letter I, initiative and innocency. You are able to discern with the Spirit of God in you and with the Word of God that you are sure and taking to yourself. You are able to diagnose the situation surrounding you and you are able to take a prompt and quick action. Initiative without that innocency. Not only that, Acceptance of grace and avoidance of gods. There are many gods, but there is only one God. Acceptance of grace. The one that brought you to the soul is grace. But there are many gods. Some people have made Christian today. Christian worker, Christian leader. Let's speak the truth to ourselves. Listen to me. Let me your ear. Some people have made dressing their God today. Anything that touch dressing is a no-go area. Avoidance of God. What are those gods in your life? What are those things that have constituted God in your life? Leader. self you. This is the way I know how to do it. Let me, let me do it that way. Self will have become some people's goal. And God is looking at you. He's giving us the grace. He's giving us the time to repent. For the wrath of God, terror of God, persuade all men. God is waiting. And is patient with all. What are those that have become God? What lineage? What lineage? What lineage have become some people's God today? What lineage in music? 
born again, they claim sanctified, baptized in the Holy Ghost, but oneness in the heart. Oneness in the heart. Oneness in speech. Oneness in speech. The words of our mouth. Oneness in speech. They have made oneness to become God. Music of the world. Some people are supposed to be here now. But because they have isolated from other things, the word of eternal life, and we, 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 we bear, we plead with ourselves. Let's come and live in. Some people prefer to be elsewhere. I understand some people are on official assignment. I'm not here now. But you know, some people will find the place in their heart to remain in the room. Why the workers' retreat is going on? Some people have isolated education. Education. First class or nothing else. Very wonderful to finish with first class. Very great to live a fulfilled life on earth. But after then, what next? Not only that, we see nothingness without Christ. That I am nothing without Christ. For by grace we are what we are. That is the Christian living. So the water, the world become, the more difficult to leave old time religion out. For the word of God remains unchanged. So also the doctrine of Christ, the word of repentance, the word of only Bible, the doctrine we believe. I don't see he existing in practical or just the principle. God is reminding us the Holy Bible. Holy Bible brought us through that to God. The Godhead, Trinity, three in one. The very best of Christ that afforded us an afforded us salvation. We still remember them today. The depravity and sinfulness of man. The depravity and sinfulness of man. As I'm not capable, it is by grace. We still remember. And it was the guiding principle of our life. It is portrayed, it is shown the way we live our life. That we are not living for for ye are not yourself, we have been bought with a price. Depravity and sickness of, of not. Not only that, how much of the world restitution we cherish today? Believers, workers, leaders, they sign it with you no know, sign it convenient. So to realize the world doctrine of restitution. Restitution. What about water baptism? Some have been wrongly baptized. And yet, they find it convenient. Coming in and going on, say, nothing happened. I'm believing, I'm reading Bible. What about redemption? What about healing and hell? How do you take this word today? Personal evangelism, which is the primary goal of Christ's advent on earth. The word marriage. The doctrine of marriage. How do you have to do it today? We believe God, but it's a no-go area. My own ministerial assignment has nothing to do with my Leave that aspect. It is between me and God. No leadership intervention. Fellowship, forget about it. Pastor, forget about it. This area, I will deal de- with it myself. Those are the words. The truth, the doctrine, the thing that we ought to achieve, the rapture. If you remember rapture, it will change the way we live our life from day to day. You wake up in the morning, you examine. You are walking in the day, you examine. You go to bed tonight, in the night, you examine. The way we live our life, we have rapture in focus. If you have a long way, the way we live our life. Not only that, the resurrection of Christ, the power 
that the power of hell, of kingdom of darkness, could not prevail. The power of truth could not prevail. He resurrected. Something that never happened and that ha- cannot happen by the power of God. You know the power we are carrying. The resurrection power. The second coming of Christ. Do we remember the doctrine of Jesus? How much of them do we practice? Need only the head knowledge. No heart knowledge. We have believe them in, pra- in principle. But we don't have them in practice. What about millennial reign? That whatever believers suffer now, this world is not our home. We are only passing by for a time being. We leave this world in short time. And we come back again to rule the world. To dominate. They will make millennial reign. We remember. If you remember, we don't count anything too, too great to sacrifice for this present moment so that we can win Christ. Conviction. You are sleeping, rise on your feet. You are sleeping, rise on your feet. My brother here, yes, stand up and rise on your feet. Remember Christ within this regard, the millennial age. How about the great white throne judgment? All with the church. All with the church. That will like eternal. All with Christ, with God. All to eternal doom. Jesus will come. And when He will come, He will come for a prepared church. For rapture. That is why, brethren, if there is anything we need to do, at this hour, heaven is free, hell is free, is to run and flee for our love, for salvation. The commandment of God came to house of love and said, flee to the mountain, escape for your life, never look back. Why so was no love was running with his family eventually. Unbecoming happened. His wife looked back to Sodom. Sodom was still attracting her. She was attracted to Sodom. That's where many believers, many workers, live our life today. And if that is a lie, we are living and we are not letting out the light of Christ to the world. Some are coming and going in. Coming out and going in. But the light is gone. Look at your life. Do you still hear from God? If you are a child of God, you will hear from God. It's the end time. Christian life in a changing world. Remain unchanged. Symbolically, Lord's wife, Luke Bar, she became pillars of salt. How many believers have become stale in heart in Christian experiences and they still go about with activities? Brethren, let's be one. Let's walk with God. Don't ever count anything too great to sacrifice for the excellency of the name of Christ. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. We read in verse 16. Colossians 3, verse 16. Colossians 3, we read in verse 16. In the book of Colossians chapter 3. We are looking at Christ, the word of life. The word of life. Colossians 3, verse 16. They led the word of Christ. Dwell in you, richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, in things, in spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. That's what it takes to conquer in the last day. The word of God dwell in us richly. How much of the word do we know? Do we even have the word personified, you know, in our heart? That's what God is looking for. Set the foundation on the wall. Standard sure. 
having this seed, the Lord knoweth them that are here. And let them that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Number chapter 22. Number chapter 22. In book of number chapter 22. We read in verse 20. Number 22, verse 20. Number 22, verse 20. We read in verse 20. And God kept Numbers 22, 20. And God came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with, with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, that shall thou do what? Do. The word that I shall say unto thee. The word of Christ is a main say and sustainer of every Christian and Christian workers in this last day. For us to live a life that pleases God, a life of victory, a life of dominion, a life of grace in this perilous and adulterous generation. The word of God must do dwell in us this day, meaning that it must be transferred from the earth dweller to the earth experience. We must be earnestly content for this world and for deliver to the same. Deliver on air and end time we are on the battlefield. And we must finally take Satan, take the, the, the battle by the own. Take the bull by the own. By facing the battle. How do you understand that Satan is the act enemy of believers? If they are weak in prayer, Satan is behind him. He doesn't want you to pray. It's because he knows why you pray. When you live a devoted life, when you live a prayerful life, you become a threat to his kingdom. He weakens you. What do you see today? He makes many believers to become gluttony. You eat and eat and eat. And open mouth to pray. Five minutes, believer is gone. Five minutes, a worker is gone. Five minutes, a leader is gone. How can we live a successful Christian life? The pain that our family may have their seed. How can we live a successful Christian life? Without prayer. But the weapons of our weapons are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. But they put them down their stronghold. If the weapons are not carnal, how do we tap into this? You know, the reality is by prayer. The endless truth come on this note that for a believer to conquer in this end time, we must have a deep devotional life. Live what? A deep devotional life. I put that word. D again. A deep devotional life. Not only that, the strong believer must desire to be grow, to grow. As a newborn babe, desire is the same need of the word of God. A believer must desire for, to, for grow. Not only that, he must be, you know, be determined to live for Christ only. Either in the secret, in the open. They put the word of God that they have understood. Temptation comes, you resist by the word of God. Trial comes, you overcome by the word of God. Sickness they come, you overcome by the word of God. Temptation is the flesh. The spirit must after the flesh. And the flesh must after the spirit. The two are contrary. And the war day from day to day against your soul. The essence of this is to make you lose what you have. To make you lose the presence that have been deposited in you. And that is why I pray the right self by conviction. We go with deposit and restore. But men that have lost it. So we bring it back to us again in Jesus' name. Not only that, the life of dedication. You are dedicated to the service of the master, to the evangelism, to a life that is that, that is free from you. Because I was a, a sinning man. We see from prayer. But look at a prayerful man. A prayerful man. Prayer will keep believers from sinning. In simple terms. You are diligent. Diligent in studying the world. Diligent in digging deep. Diligent in, in living out the world. The, 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 the lie. Not only that, you must be ready to disappoint Satan. That's it. Be ready in this entire to disappoint the world. 
Yes. The ones that are expecting you, they say you carry Bible on television, you leave your room and they are looking. They look, leave him. He will soon come and join us. Some people have told me that in the past. I thank God for Christ, who has been my main sustainer, even up to this moment. They, 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 they put pressure. They did a lot of things. They invite. They entice. I remain dogged. As I'm going to say, leave him. Leave him. Let him go. The people who did more than that yesterday, they are, they are with us now. But brethren, those things, those words. When I remember, the same thing I remember. It's the same thing I want to, to make me lose focus. I remember those words. You will come back. I will never go back to the world. I said I will never go back to the world. I said I will never go back to the world. You, it's a personal conviction. When they are telling you, you will come back and join us. Look at the sacrifice you have made. Some of them, they take girlfriend like they are taking clothes. Some of them, they change the lot of things they have gone into. Some of these opportunities are open to some of us also. For we is regarded. We have come a long way. We have a long way to go. But if you will go back, you will make mock of your Savior. That is it. The world is waiting for the time that you suffer that. I pray you not suffer that. I pray you not suffer that. As I say bye bye to the world, I can no longer say with you to the pleasure of sin. Our life of pursuit Christ to the world. That they can be convinced that we have what they don't have. And that thing we have that they don't have, we give it to the world. I say we give it to the world. But I need we give it to the world. But I we give it to the world. And through our life, the world will be converted to the Savior in Jesus' name. Look at life of dedication. You will be ready to disappoint the world. Not only that. You need to live a life of degree and decree. You decree by your authority. This is my son. First decree was made. But Daniel defied that decree because he had a God that is greater than that decree. Then there should be a decree of you know, a life of Christ in you, in measure, in fullness. You are thirsty. You are never satisfied. You look at your life. The more you grow, the greater you want to grow. Grow in the knowledge of, of the word of God. Grow in grace. Grow in lifestyle. Grow in obedience. Grow in consecration. Grow in commitment. Leave the world behind. And you are saying, Bye bye and bye bye to the world. The closer you are to God, the more to Christ, the further you are from the world. But the closer you are from the world, the further you are away from, from, from Christ. And the more you are the best of Perry. I pray you not perish with the world. I say you not perish with the world. Our prayer for the nation was living prayer was listening. He said, Judas is carried on, I tell you the truth with Jesus. Ah. It is a word. He has sent you to with the Savior. Ah, the man, he moved a lot of missionary journey with Paul. For having what this present world, he departed. Ah, brethren, do you think this world we are living with be forever? Heaven will pass away. The earth will pass away. And we divorce thereof. But the only thing that will remain eternally, the only thing that will remain unchanged, is that word of God. Why don't you hold on to your conviction? Why don't you hold on to your conviction? Why do you give in to get friends? All those things that happen outside there. Even in our midst, we find it difficult to earnestly contend for the faith. We camouflage to defeat the leader. Ah, the world will pass away. The pressure of moments will pass away. Ah, Satan will not damn your soul. As men that are listening to me this afternoon, Dima departed, having loved the present war. Jesus is carried, departed. In fact, he had no opportunity to return because of the love of money. Watch your life. That thing you cherish most is just no taking. And that is what God wants to deal with today. If it is self, 
if it is money, if it is fame, if it is female, if it is male, for female counterpart now, that you share it most, if care is not taken, that is what will take you out of the, and you will not go away. I say Satan will not go, no, take you out of the kingdom. That is it. Then your disposition and your decision. Finally, in Matthew chapter 24, 24. Matthew 24. We soon pray. And the time to pray. Brethren, is the time to seek the Lord. Till he come and reign righteousness upon all. Again. That we regain the condition of our forefather. Face of our father, living sea. In Matthew chapter 24. We are reading from the 35. Matthew 24. We read in the 35. The heavens and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not what? Pass away. Word of men will pass away. Advice of men will pass away. I want to please my parents. That's why I cannot satisfy God. We pass away. Parents will pass away. Your says, if Christ started, we pass away. I will pass away. We owe, the, we owe God that, that duty to die one day. But the only thing that will remain is the word of Christ forever. Shortly, caution, caution, the warning for the Christian pilgrimage. The warning for the Christian pilgrimage. What is the warning? In uh, Genesis chapter 32, chapter 33, sorry, Genesis chapter 33. You are looking at the warning for the Christian pilgrimage. Genesis 33. The caution we need to take in this age. Genesis 33. And he said, What meanest thou by all these droves which I made? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. These are let to find grace on the side of my Lord. The warning. Esau was trying to bribe, sorry, Jacob was trying to bribe Esau with the gift. Bible says, beauty is day, gift is deceitful. Ah, the same gift I had. But Esau recognized, even though both of them have their own faults in the scripture, he sent gifts to bribe, to blindfold his heart. Brethren, what are those gifts that the world is given to you already? Those gifts that be causing your vision of heaven. Those gifts that be causing your confusion for Christ. Those gifts that are becoming your, con your, your concentration for holy living. It's so identified and disregard those gifts. Wash the gifts the word is given to you. If you don't wash, they will take you away from the kingdom. You will not be taken away. I said you will not be taken away. Say the gifts. Say warning. Warning. In Luke chapter 3, Luke chapter 3, we read from verse 7, Luke chapter 3, in verse 7, Luke chapter 3, in verse 7, Luke chapter 3, in verse 7, the caution. They are talking about the caution. The word is telling to you worldliness, Luke. Be, you know, be careful. It's telling to you what it has, but you have what the, what the word uh, never has. That's what you need to give to the world. Luke, we are talking about warning. Luke chapter 3, we read in the 7. Say, then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him. Oh, generation of viper! Who has warned you to flee from the road to come? Generation of viper! Generation of deceivers! Generation of deception! The reason of, of, of evil who has warned you to flee from the world of I believe this is a far as a, a enough warning for these people. Who has deceived you to flee from the world to come? 
Jesus will come. And nothing can hinder him. But if you live for Christ, you have gain. If you, if you, if you live for sex, you lose forever. That's why in the same Luke chapter 21, we read again in verse 8, and it said, Take ye, so he, you know, take ye, that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And after John, at, and the, the time, John near, go ye now, therefore, after them, take ye, they are exciting you. From other over how many campus are available? They say, ah, if their own is, 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 is too much there, I don't do God, we made you pastor, ah, pastor, over sinners, that will never return. You pass some people to it. Some pastor will remain on the people when some person. I refuse to be that type of pastor. Ah! Some people will remain in the booty. Some person sound. They will never hear the sound. Because it is those people that are living the lie. When the Trump person sound, so my people that will hear them, the, the, the trumpet. But those that are living, contrary to the lie that Christ has said, they will lose forever. Sacrifice that have no benefit. Consecration that have no value. Co- commitment that has no, you know, that has no, that has no record. That's what many people are having outside there. If you also go and join them, they are enticing you. Say their own is too much. Say holiness. Say this and this. And you are, are considering me. Ah! I don't die. But let me join them. Even over there. They can make me or whatever. And I will, I will be playing whatever. Ah, brethren, you remain on old time conviction. The one that saw David too. The one that saw Nehemiah too in his own day. The one that saw Daniel too. The one that saw Joseph too. The one that saw our Lord Jesus Christ too. He said, many shall be deceived. You will not be deceived. I said, you will not be deceived. Yes, the session comes through the word of God to be conquered in Jesus' name. Today, many believers, even the Christian workers and leaders, have become wounded by the world. And they are already wounded. So the careless little or careless living and self-managed life. That is why secret laws have taken over the place of sincerity laws. Take this loss, loss in the heart, loss in the private, loss in the, in the, in the, in the corner. So it's a second, the place of, of sincere love for Christ and the brethren. For one another, what minutes are taking the place of words of God? Can I be taking the place of spirituality? Higher high mindedness has taken the place of hello and the holy living. And these be it the imagination of Almighty and it's sweeping daily. Are these the people I gave my life for? Are these people that I said not only because it's not to die for? And they say because I have knowledge now, knowledge has increased. I'm now in university. I have acquired some knowledge in psychology, uh, philosophy, and uh, whatever engineering, man- managerial, the medical, and whatever we have acquired. And that's what I thought that one I changed. Christ has never seen the thunder. Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever, and He will continue to reign. I said, continue to reign. And many have left the sea due to all these things. Point number two shortly as we pray. Courage, the winning weapon in a changing world. We need courage like that of Joshua to prevail. We need courage like that one of Daniel to prevail. We need courage like, so like Peter that we say, Whom do we obey? To so obey God is better than what? The man. So people will depart. They will be rejecting. You see Peter that utter that way at the point in time of, uh, uh, in, in his life because of fear of men. Sam shell, the damsel said, You are one of his disciples. I said, No. Me? Uh, no, not me. And, and he had forgotten. And Jesus Christ told him, Wash and pray. And he entered not into the, the, the temptation. He was overconfident. Self reliant. 
I think we see many Christians today. See, nothing is happening. Virgin, I want to employ you. The number of years you spend in the kingdom will not come. You don't have courage in this end time. Compromise is already in your life. Because they will invite you. As they are inviting you, they are also inviting me. It's not strange. So if they are inviting you and you are thinking, uh, because uh, not, if I assuming I'm not a Christian worker now, as if, as, assuming I'm just a member in this fellowship, ah, I will have gone, you know, I will have gone with them. Virgin, is it because you're a worker? Heaven is not meant for just because uh, for people that be tied to. Heaven is meant for people who value their soul. It's a function of heart. And as I'm talking to yourself, I'm talking to myself. The conviction, you don't have courage in this end time, and compromise is already in your life. We need courage to win. And if you must win, like John in Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. We are praying. Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. We read in verse 18. Matthew 5, 18. Matthew 5, 18. Matthew 5, 18. For very I say unto you, the heaven and earth pass one, one, one God. Or oh, one little, little, shall in no way pass from the law to all be fulfilled. So any word of God, any written word of God, anything you see, written in that scripture, heaven says, all will come to fulfillment. And if that is the case, what do we need to be able to conquer in this last day? Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. Brethren, Joshua chapter 1. The strong and of good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance of the land, which I swear unto, unto their father to, you know, to give them. Say, be strong. Be courageous. Don't be dismayed. God is with you. If you will win, he said, God is with you. Tell you will not fail you. Deuteronomy chapter 31. Deuteronomy chapter 31. Deuteronomy chapter 31. In verse 6. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. We are looking at the life that will make us to win in life. The courage is one of the brighter instruments. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not. Not be afraid of them, for the Lord thy God, He is He that does go with thee. He will not judge thee. Can I hear me? I said He will not fail you. Not forsake you. God will not forsake you. If you have that, that with God. Then what do you need? That is the part of God. God play his part in Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3, we read in verse 8. Philippians chapter 3. In verse 8, we need courage, brethren, to conquer. We need courage of conviction. We need courage for righteousness. We need courage to be different. We need courage to be different. Yea, that way. And I count all things. But Lord, for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ, Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count, count them, but don't, that I may do what? That I may do what? So those that will win Christ in this end time, they will not be ready for privileges. That compromise will have, will have, have, you know, have, you know, will have won for them. We will forfeit them. Illegal privilege. So key to conquer is that we need to wash and pray as we are courageous. Not self-confident. We are courageous. We are courageous in Christ. 
You are courageous. You are bold in the Lord. You are courageous. You are courageous in Almighty. Just, 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 just to be able to conquer. Is it to watch and pray? Watch over your life. Watch your thoughtful life. Watch your living. Watch your action. Watch your reaction. Watch your relationship. Relationship between same sex, intersex, and intersex. Opposite sex and the same sex. You watch your relationship between the church and outside the church. Either in the church or outside the church. From one denominator to the other. Watch your relationship. So that this one is not in, the, in, my, in our fellowship. I can afford to go anywhere and in the department. It is only you with a particular individual. I can afford to run away from my people in my own fellowship. But outside there, I can keep my company with unbelievers, with a backslider, with those who have been faced with a peaceful pursuit on campus. And the pastor said, they say, I'm pastor. I mean, how many pastors will go to hell from the pulpit? And I refuse that for you and myself in Jesus' name. So you want us to pray. If you want to conquer, if you want to overcome, in Matthew chapter 24, I read in verse 42. Matthew 24, say what therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord talks for. You watch in world, you watch in condition, you watch in examining your life, you watch in careful living. Then you ask God for the way. Ask God for the way. If you are watching, you are asking God for the way. Ah, on daily basis, God show me the way. One day at a time, God show me the way. You are living a prayerful life. If you don't want to live a defeated life, if you want to fit me, so God manifestation in this entire battle, you watch your way in in in, 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 in Psalm 25, verse 4. Just show me thy way, oh Lord. Just me thy path. Psalm 25, verse 4. Just show me thy way, oh Lord. That's a prayer. Another thing, you must you must, you must watch your loyalty. Who are you loyal to? Are you loyal to your leader? Or are you loyal to pastor outside there? Are you loyal to your leader? Your executive, your, 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 your executive. The old eh, the old campus eh, the coordinator, the people that God have put you to oversee. Are you loyal to Are you loyal to them? Watch your loyalty. Are you loyal to your care? Are you loyal to self Are you loyal to your individual? Are you loyal to Christ? Or are you loyal to yourself? What? Who you are loyal to? Another thing that you watch your thoughtful life. What are those thoughts that are preoccupying your mind? I'm telling you, that you can't live at the peace of love. If you are living, you are living in a lost life in your life. You can't be free from the moral life and the sanctification. Is that holiness? No man can see the Lord. How can sanctification come into a life, a heart that is dirty, that is tired, that is untidy, that is uncared? Sanctification. Only life, only God cannot live in such an environment. You watch your thoughtful life. You watch your thoughtful life. Thoughtful life, you watch your preoccupation. What preoccupation? Preoccupy your mind. What are those that preoccupy your mind? What does that preoccupy your time? What does that preoccupy your treasure? What does that preoccupy your treasure? Do you keep bowing to something else that the cause of the cross as your worker was? Anything you have I done above Christ's likeness will take you out of the kingdom. I pray I forbid that for you in the name of Jesus. You know, you watch your life. Not only you watch your character. This is the day that character has stayed away in the true center, in the fellowship that is not that we value character. Character, character, character in relationship, character in our comportment, that, that the worker can afford to go in the, in the department and they know you are the one copy of the problem in the department. No! And the same will not agree. And you are part of those people that will say, no, you watch your character. Your life must portray the life of Christ. Not only that, wash your feelings. Wash your feelings. As you go on the way, in a room, alone, in a room, and the church, I mean the church. Wash your feelings. What are those things you allow? Are you contented with where you are now? Do you know that heaven and earth shall pass away? Those people that will remain to the angels are the people that will be saved. Brethren, are you prepared to remain courageous in this end time? The battle has been set at Nare. Satan is fighting every believer. Why Satan is fighting the believers are sleeping? Ah! Satan is not resting, believers are resting. Look at your prayer life. Godliness has taken over the glory of God. 
How can we grow? No Christian is thirsting for growth again. Christian worker, no thirsting. No task. No ayagan. No, no, nothing is moving you. Ah! So how long will you continue in this type of life? Present as I ran off. I have this to tell you. Don't you make a Christian a, 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 a make a Christian strong. Why application of doctrine make a warm Christian? You have to get knowledge of doctrine. Doctrine will only make you not strong. But application of doctrine make you warm, make you have influence in your environment. Not only that. Ignorance is dummy. But error is far more dummy. A man who does not eat enough will die. The world is going. A worker who does not eat enough will die. Eat of what? Eat of the word of God. The one who swallow poison will lose his life even sooner. Poison of the word of God. They poison people outside here. We saw many things. So that. If you are, if you, if, if you have no heart to suffer for God, so the reason for cry, but choose a thing to escape a cross, your peace is false. You have no peace. Conviction. Don't worry me. We start on this end time. We must be ready to gain land. Look at that. A holy man is a, is a, is a terrible we- weapon. In the arms of the holy God, you must be holy. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Little children, love not the world. And are the things that are, in the, that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in it. For all others in the world, the loss of, of the flesh, the price of life, the all, all these things. They are of the world, they are not of the Father. And not they pass away, and the food has But for the Son that will endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Not only that, the knowledge, the more knowledge, the more knowledge we have, we accumulate, and the more sophisticated we become. In our study of faith, the more careful we must guard against error. There are errors outside here. Be careful of error that, 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 that surrounds you. Be, be careful. So I don't go with them. Don't only that. He who lives without discipline will die without honor. If you live, Christian life, you don't discipline your life, your faith. I will send a woman, not just a lady outside there, with a dipping. They have made themselves like no. They can make a life of their husband and woman to become like a piece of prayer. That's what they are doing, they want to do. They will not get you. I said they will not get you. They will not get you. They will not get you. So live a Jesus life with that without honor. That's spiritually. Without honor. So the letter. God's wound. Kill but sin. He sees you. God's wound cures, but sin is his key. That's why you must run away from sin. There is not another way. The word of God lies in the world that can cure by cutting. Just allow the word of God to cut, to prune, to pass it, to branch it that are not of God. Prune them up you. That's where you can have that life that God has prepared you to be. What will leave? The early day had a motto that was repeated often. No coming to heaven without fear. Pour out your heart before him. Tonight you will pour your heart. No coming to heaven. Tears have dried up. Confusion has gone away. And we send workers. And we are going. And we are coming out and going out. No heaven without tears. You will. At the come of God, I'm begging you. This word is not my word. You, you know, the word is taken away. You know, the word has, you know, it is trying to take me away. There is no guarantee or protection from worthiness. And the tears of this world, when prayer is neglected, they then take no. Therefore, watch and pray. One cry. After Christ one. Watch and pray. This is the fall of man. The earth has been a disaster area. And every life with a physical imagine, imagine. Yes, many believers live and see this world a playground instead of a battleground. Wash. Wash. 
words for your conviction. So to me that a man is born for dominion, but he must enter into it by conquest. Then the adversary and continue to do battle of peace, king of ground added to his sway. You are born for dominion. You will dominate. I said we dominate. Today, we have considered this evening. We have spoken at length. We've seen what to, how to watch. We've seen the words of our encouragement. We've seen that courage is a, is, a, is, a, you know, is a weapon through which a Christian can win the battle. We've seen that caution needs to be taken in order to, you know, for pilgrimage to sustain their, their journey to the end. And we have seen in the word of God that cry, the word passing in fire, the life passing in fire, the inside passing in fire, is the one that can help us to sustain our life in this changing world. Brethren, is it nothing to you? What does that happen around us? Let's rise up on our feet. It is time to call upon the name of the Lord. It is time to call upon the name of the Lord. He tried to call upon the name of the Lord. The return and show righteousness is all. He returns and restore conviction as of us into all. He returns and repair some bridges that have been broken in all. He returns and remove all dirty forgets from our life and restore to us holy living again. He returns and, 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 take, and take away all those things that have been tear, that have shut up, and have damaged, and given conviction, and bring them back against to all. Those that have made us Restless in the presence of the Lord. Do not make us restless in our position. Now we're going to bring them back again. Call upon the name of the Lord. Have you taken your decision? Have you made up your mind? So do God's will. Doctrine of repentance as you are this. The only Bible you shall receive. Restitution of you shall receive. If you permit your mind, do you care about the rapture? That any moment the rapture is over to stand. If you care to know, it will determine the way we live our lives. We are trying to come up our life more than the earthly thing. Heaven and earth that will pass away, but the word of God will not pass away without being fulfilled. I don't come upon the name of the Lord. Walk out your brain, open your eyes. It is a lot of time. There is no time to turn. Christians are praying. Why devil is fighting? How is our prayer life? What should we are loyal to? Ask of the way. What's your thought? What's your biggest life? What's your preoccupation? What's your character? What's your feeling? There is no only Christian. You see that you are a Christian or you are not a Christian? Position will take us nowhere. Spread the light right out with the whole of our heart. A broken spirit and a contrite heart alone will not despise. Have you made up your mind to do God's will? Doctrine of marriage, brethren, as you are doing. And we must not constitute in the church. 
Now it may get to an affair of your dramatic affair. Sixty four, with a period motive. Michael, with a period motive. Thank you for your conviction. Can we be like Christ today? Is it possible to live for Christ in the 21st century? Is it possible to live for Christ in the 21st century? With all these temptations and trials.
in a holy day of that day, the confusion you have now can be sustained usually they pray. We are not need that is monitoring you. Can that confusion sustain you? Why the morality of you to commit immorality is open up for you? Do you consider immortality and disregard the morality? Christ has the mortality to give to you. We are mortal, we give them, give the right to immortality. Do you need to It is only those who conquer. It is only those who win. It is only those who overcome. That we are the God help me to follow your banner and serve you wherever I go. Brother, and when you are sent my sister, God give you the grace to say no. Temptation in your flesh. Temptation to become famous. We of us are tempted to go and join the campus quality. You will get the pay, but you will lose eternally. Jesus only is your message. In journey, in your land, we walk with yes, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee. As I come back close to Jesus, as I close to Jesus, in the village close to Jesus. In the city close to Jesus. Everywhere I find myself close to Jesus. Father, draw me closer. The grace will be closer to work with me. Jesus is passing this way. Leaders and workers, Jesus is passing this way, and is passing this way to revive, is passing this way to restore, is passing this way to help the generally painted, the generally contracted, to assist the so broken things and the contractors. Jesus is passing this way. Do you call me? Do you touch me? Do you tell me, tell me your witnesses? Your witnesses? Your witnesses? It's not time you tell me. It's not time you tell me. If you don't tell me, tell me to Jesus alone. Your witnesses tell them to Jesus. The inadequacy is set up for Jesus. Brethren, your faith to be tested. Your faith to be tested. If you are not tempted, I will be proven.
goodbye world. I am no longer stay with you. Goodbye pleasure or sea. Legend, call upon the name of the Lord. Are you contented with your present position? What is your life? Contain the life of the master.